Hello everyone, Pop Potsy here. Welcome back to our Let's Play series. I think today we'll be doing a, a bit more of a normal thing compared to last time because of my uh, party I was mentioning. Just a second here, I'm going to check my, my D-pad size. Okay, it's, I think it's alright for now. <clears throat> um, so when I went to my party, you know, I mentioned it in the last video, probably the most useless episode I've ever done in my life because I had been to a party till four in the bloody morning. So... You know, you can imagine I was, I was seriously tired, so, yeah, it wasn't too good, you know, that's not the best way to spend a night, and not to mention the fact that I didn't get hardly any sleep either that night, because, you know, sometimes when you throw off your schedule so much, it just kills me, you know, I usually don't go to bed earlier than, me, like, 11 or midnight, but 4 is not completely normal for me. So, looks like it's turning night time now. I got some... I'm going to... I just put 64 sand in there because I want to get some glass, you know. Because houses just don't look nice if you don't got glass, you know. So, let's see here. I really like this area, you know. I've mentioned it before. Probably a hundred million times. Those cows are still there. Wonderful. Maybe we'll have them have babies one day, huh? We'll just leave them there. I don't need to kill them right now. You know, I'm not doing so well on my health either. Sorry, I'm a little bit sporadic today, but I'm going to try take it easy, you know. Come on, eat some more, bloody fool. All right. Also, I just posted my website up the other day to tweet it for the first time. I've been working on coding on it for like a few weeks now. So check it out if you have a minute. And it has a lot of things about the update. No shovel. I need to craft a shovel. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do around here, you know, because the house can only go so far right here, so I might do some investigating over in Sheep uh, Sheep Valley, right there, so also I'm considering doing a mob, a mob trap uh, tutorial generator, which basically what it, that is, is it um, generates all the mob drops in a big massive thing, and the reason you can do it now is because of the bucket implementation, but uh, you know, a lot of people are having problems with buckets still, even though they're supposed to be corrected in the uh, 0.7.1 update. So I'm not really 100% sure on what's going on with that right now. It's kind of a confusing thing, really. Um, okay, so I need to build a shovel real quick. Just an iron shovel. No sticks. No bloody sticks, eh? All right, there we go. All right, so right here. Alright, so, and the other thing is that's really nice is uh, farming. You can farm wheat really well with buckets and water, but again, a lot of people are still having complications with that, so I'm going to go kill some zombies, because they are definitely too close for my comfort zone. Oh yeah, bro, you mad? You mad, huh? I bet you're going to be when I put this in your brain, huh? Stick it right in there. That's right, fool. You dead to me. And so is your brother. Sort of like those sheep, you know, I tried to capture one. We can make a farm of zombies, but the problem with them is they don't really do anything, you know. I don't get profit from them. They don't have babies. Well, not usually. I don't know if they, you know, if you do some sort of, like, uh, I don't know what happens if you give them wheat. Maybe if you give them, like, chickens, they have babies. I'm not sure. <gasps> no way. Do you guys see this right here? Oh, my bloody. This thing. This is a mine I did a long time ago. You guys remember that? And I couldn't bloody find it. I think we have stuff down here. Down deep. Oh my goodness. Why do I keep smacking my head? Okay, so that's just the crafting bench. I think I remember this. I'm pretty sure we had a lot of stuff down here. I hate hitting my head every bloody step. Oh, it looks like I cut a few of them down. All right. What? No, no, no. This is not right. No. I know there was something down here. I swear I had this iron down here. I was so excited for a second there. I was like, no way. I found it, but maybe I found nothing. I don't know what this is all about. So, let's just head back up there. Even though it takes forever. Come on. No, I did not mean to do that. Now, there's going to be creepers spawning down there, but I suppose it doesn't matter to me if there's nothing down there anyway. We'll come back up and fight some more bad guys to keep my environment safe here. You know, I want this to be a, a safe place for creatures. 
good creatures, not these creepy. Remember this, guys? This is like that uh, sheep pool. This whole entire world is based off of sheep. There used to be like 50 in here, and then I had to kill some because, well, I needed some wool, you know? And I wasn't going to waste my time on that. I was just going to get rid of them. All right, spider, I want a bow, so I need to kill you because that's the goal for today. Let's see. Oh, five. We're already past what we need, which is good. Sorry about that sound. Um, I'm turning it off because it lags really bad. I don't know why it's like that. Well, actually, I know why it lags, but I didn't connect it to the proper equipment today. So it might sound a little bit off. I apologize for that. But now it should be quite all right. So let's see here. Hmm. Well, I think my house is over there slightly. So, oh, Skelly, I love you. I want to hurt you. <laughs> you know, I like to hurt things that I love. Come here. Come here, boy. Say hello to Poppy. There we go. All right. Let's head back to the house now. The little house with my sheepy. My sheepy still lives, you guys. I don't care. How many of you tell me I'm lying? I'm not lying. He's in there. Want me to prove it? All right. I'll prove it to you right now. I'm going to run up there and prove that my sheep is not dead. I still have friends here. My little sheep will always be my friend. Ready? Boom. Right there. Proof. So don't tell me that my sheep is dead. It's right here. I'm, I'm on top of my sheep. Okay. Well, that is weird. Let's not. Let's pretend like I didn't just say that. So we're going to go away now from the sheep because I don't want to be on top of the sheep. Just you know, there's reasons to that. If you can't figure them out, then you're probably too young to understand that anyway. So, anyway, um, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and uh, craft myself a nice bow. And what I want to do is I want to get some more arrows because, well, the best way to do that, though, is to build a mob trap. So I'm going to try with the buckets and see if they're going to troll me today or if they're going to work. All right, so how much of this? I can make four arrows. So I need some more feathers. I probably have some in here. Well, the other one. Four feathers. Perfect. So we'll craft some more of those. And let's see. 16. Not bad, actually. That's really not too bad. All right. Let's craft all these items out here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the, the you know, pond. It's turning daytime. No way. I've been waiting for this. I have been waiting for this all night long. Hello, little puppy. I know you cutie, but don't kiss me right now. I'm in the middle of something right now. No, I said don't. You don't play games with me, poodle. Oh, see, it did it. Oh, it's right there. So, here's the bucket. Perfect. Perfect. Stay right there. Stay right there. Alright, so here's what I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to build an efficient farm, alright? So that's the next, next goal in the game. And if you guys want, you can post some goals in the comments so I don't do random things all the time, you know? I I really want to teach you guys how to do farming, though. I have the pretty nice setup for that. And it's really quite easy, cheap, you know, it's everything that you'd want. So, before we do, though, I'm going to explain a couple of things to you about buckets for those of you that don't play Minecraft. Or perhaps just don't know about farming too much. There is a way to clone water, essentially. Of, of course, you can't really run out. But what we have to do is, I forgot, sorry about this. Um, You need two buckets, alright? So just get two buckets. You don't need any more than that to get water. You know, a lot of people say, but I don't want to have to go back down the hill 50 bloody times. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it just once, alright? So I'm going to equip the other bucket here. And, uh, you know, this is still slightly bugged. Like, if you if you collect water, the bucket disappears, but it's still in your inventory. Technically, it just goes away from your toolbar, which is not how it's supposed to be. So, you guys can be expecting a fix for that pretty soon. Now, you take another water. So, now you've got two. Oh, nice. It stacks. That's really that's really nice. Now, here's what you're going to do. Um, you go back up to wherever you want the farm to be. And you're going to need seeds, obviously. And just so you guys know, it's it, if you plant wheat, well, seeds technically, but they're going to turn into wheat. 
in the uh, ground next to water, they grow much quicker and they have a much higher chance of survival. All right. So where should we start our farm? Should we just do it right here? This looks like a pretty nice place. So let's go ahead and get some dirt. And I will show you guys. Well, we'll probably just landscape for a little bit. Get a nice little area to plant some beautiful seeds. All right. I'm going to get small. I don't know how much dirt I'll really need, but it's better to be safe than sorry, even though it's a cheesy freaking line. It's better than having to be out here and then all of a sudden needing more dirt. So, I'm going to fill up this hole right here. Because, you know, I, I think most of you remember this, probably the stupid sheep episodes <laughs> where they were just not working out too well. So, there's a bit of a staircase, but that's not much of a problem. We can get rid of it. I'll just put a bunch of dirt. Whoops. Why is it... Okay, I'm having some slight issues. Um, I wish it would stop jumping. You know? I don't know about you guys. I know a lot of people actually like the auto jump, but I actually prefer to do it on my own. I just... I walk straight or whatever, and then I slide my finger down when I want to jump, and it just keeps going. Like, I like that the most. That way it doesn't randomly go crazy like the weird sheepies. Maybe that's why the sheep do that, you know? I just thought of that. Perhaps they're trying to auto jump too. That would be weird. It shouldn't be like that, but maybe it is. Oh no, no. Not a good choice, everyone. I'm gonna fix this. Come back here. Water. What do you think you're doing to me, huh? You like to troll? I oh, know you do, you just did it. All right, we're just about finished. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start the farm small, you know? I don't think I have enough seeds to even start big. But for those of you that haven't done much harvesting, um, when you plant and harvest a wheat, it ends up giving you a wheat and two seeds. So you plant one seed, you get two back. So you double the seeds and you also get a wheat. So the more, if you start a small, eventually you can have a really, really big, nice farm, you know? So I'm going to build a small one. And I really, I recommend having fences. I'm not going to do it for now just because I don't have a whole lot of resources, but, um, you don't want guys walking on it. Because if bad guys come in here, they won't purposely try to destroy your crops but if they walk over them or sheep walk over them or whatever whoever wants to it will destroy your uh, crops and the food and everything with them and then a lot most of the time you don't even get your seeds back so you lose it all so just be careful about that you know just make sure you keep a watchful eye if you don't want to put up official fencing so it's not too big of a deal if you're making sure you're just keeping a small eye on it you know should be all right. So let's go ahead and get this block right there too. All right. Um. Let's see here. So right there. I'll cover one more layer then because then it will be much larger surface. And I also need to craft myself a hoe. So let's see. Hoe is right here. Let's get ourselves an iron one. That way it doesn't run out as quick, you know. Um. It doesn't make a difference as far as, like, speed. When I use a stone hoe, it's like, you know how you guys use... If you use an iron pickaxe versus a diamond pickaxe, obviously the diamond one does the job quicker and it lasts longer. With with the hoes, it, they all go just as fast as each other. The only difference is the durability with the hoe. So, if you want it to last a long time, you can do the other one. But if you don't really care about lasting too long, you can just craft several stone and that will be just as, virtually just as efficient as an iron one. So, I just figured, you know what, I've got a lot of iron right now because of the process I showed you guys a few episodes ago for the branch mining. You know, how I mined for like 10 or 15 minutes and I, I have a lot of resources. So, I'm not usually too, you know, crazy about making sure I, I use the cheaper versions. I just kind of craft wherever I feel like. And usually that's expensive because I know how to do, you know, expensive mining strategies and things so make sure to check out those videos if you haven't already seen my other let's plays because they explain it quite well really one of them in particular talks about it and i get diamonds like eight or nine of them i can't remember exactly how many it was but in like 10 or 15 minutes no it's in fact it's probably it was less than 15 i'm sure and with that said that includes getting the mine ready and everything so you know you to actually do the mining will take even less. I, I would I would say it's more than probable that you'll get diamonds within the first five minutes if you mine just straight mine how I was doing it with the branch mining. 
you are good to go. You're guaranteed some pretty sweet stuff. So consider doing that. And I know it's boring for some people, but currently most devices just can't handle the caves. It just kills the frame rate. And so the only way to really get resources is to dig underground randomly. So you might as well use a pattern that you know will get you resources, you know. All right, this is looking pretty good, you know. What do you guys think? I think it's looking pretty darn good. All right, so am I going to run out right here? Nah, I, I'll be all right. Unless I keep building double layers. <laughs> all right. Wonderful. So we have five more. We only need three, I think. So there we go. It's ready. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and dig this stair down too sometime, but not quite yet. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll make an episode tomorrow. Actually, doing the the farming. I wanted to do it today, but we'll we'll do it in the next episode twelve. So again, thanks for watching everyone, and I hope you all have a good rest of the day.